Splatoon 3 still has a lot of time to give us Splatfests before we're anywhere near September 2024, the planned end of major content updates for Splatoon 3. With at minimum like 10 to 12 Splatfests to look forward to, I wanted to take a crack at making some of my own. A good Splatfest has to be universal enough where most people can have a solid opinion while also not being so lopsided that one team is huge compared to the rest. Looking at you, Team here. I'll also include in this video exactly which Splatfest team I would pick for each one. You know, um, just in case, Nintendo, you want to borrow any of these ideas, I'm not going to copyright them or anything. Some Splatfests could be used to usher in new content updates. If Nintendo ever plans to give us more pants, imagine the update being added on right after a Splatfest, where you're asked, what do you prefer to wear? Shorts? Pants or dresses? I can't imagine it'd be easy for Big Man to fit into any inkling or octoing sized pants. A dress though? He'd rock it. Fry also has like the pants ever, come on. <laughs> I've got Nintendo covered for the holiday season too. How about something about gift giving? How do you like to present your gifts? In a bag? With a box? Or maybe bundled all nice with a bow plopped right on top? Big Man is an expert at piano, so he'd have no trouble tying together one or more fun bows to throw on top of a gift. Imagine, maybe he gets so excited to put the bow on tap, he doesn't even actually wrap his presents at all. The joy is in giving the gift, not preparing for a surprise. Speaking of gift giving, why not give yourself the gift of easy to prepare meals? Instead of finding out you only have the wackiest assortment of food items on hand, let HelloFresh deliver fresh proportioned ingredients and seasonal recipes right to your home. Enjoy the ease of making a wonderful meal while happily skipping the part where you spend hours at the grocery store. Even takeout is more expensive than HelloFresh, meaning your wallet and your taste buds will be thanking you. It's easy to get exactly what will suit your needs with HelloFresh's variety of delicious and healthy meals. You can customize your meals and even swap, upgrade, or add extras such as proteins with carb smart and calorie smart options. Need to cook quick? HelloFresh has quick and easy options too. Perfect for getting a meal done in 30 minutes or less so you can have a filling, flavorful, and delicious meal before getting back to more turf war. No matter what option you choose, HelloFresh's ingredients come from the farm to your door in less than a week, which means you get high quality and of course fresh produce. In the name. Confidently cook knowing you're making nutrient-filled and delicious meals perfect for a better eating experience. Need more snacks for those meals? Don't forget to get sides, desserts, and more with HelloFresh Market. The treats you choose to add to your cart will be delivered alongside your weekly meals, meaning you'll know exactly what's waiting for you when you open every box. Want to sign up for HelloFresh and save time and money? Use the link in the description or use the QR code on the screen for at least 50% off your first box and free shipping. When we get closer to the warmer months, maybe you want to celebrate Splatfests with us. Uh, scooters versus bikes versus skateboards. Yeah. Let's be real. Fry is already riding her eels to work on the regular. What does she need a bike for, you might think? Not every day is perfect. Sometimes you don't have time for your eels to get ready. And having two giant rolling tires is one step away from eel service, right? Shiver, on the other hand, would absolutely rock the cool scooter look. And nothing says power like clocking some fool in the ankles accidentally with a scooter. Whoops. Poor big man, I really hope they make bikes and scooters that are to his size. At least you can't be too big to rock a skateboard and hit a sick alley. Need more summertime shenanigans? Alright, how about which of these do you want to do at the beach? Make a sand castle? Dig a big old sand pit? Or maybe just sunbathe? Sunbathe is like perfect for big man. All homies gotta do is just lay down and let the sun do its thing. Shiver can work at becoming queen of the beach. After all, she did pick team power. So maybe she needs a castle of her own to channel a little of that inner Ganondorf. <laughs> and you can't tell me that Fry doesn't have the chaotic vibe to just run off and go build herself a sand pit. Come on. Oh, you don't want a goofy Splatfest? 
How about one that connects to the idols in the game and allows them to have their personalities fleshed out? Imagine a Splatfest that asks what type of performance art do you like best? Singing? Dancing or playing instruments. It'd be nice for the members of Deep Cut to have a little heart to heart on their favorites, especially with what we know from the Deep Cut interview, where we know that Big Man was recruited by Shiver and Fry to be their musician after hearing he was good at piano. It'd be cute. What about a couple of Splatfests that take into account the ones that already happened? As like a callback? Can we have a citrus Splatfest of lemon versus lime versus orange? It would be really funny because Big Man's favorite wouldn't even be the extremely sour option. But it would be nice to see Big Man, our buddy on Team Sour, who all the way until the most recent Splatfest had the lowest popularity option of all time. Just to have Sour be beaten out by yet another Big Man choice. Oh, Bigfoot. What about a Splatfest to let Fry get some revenge? Imagine an opportunity for Fry to get her just desserts. We've had repeat Splatfests before, but what if one category returned under the disguise of some completely different theme? Introducing which invasion do you think we could survive? Would it be dinosaurs? Would it be aliens? Or would it be robots? Shiver is already a master of shark taming and riding, so what's more dangerous creatures to her? You know she'd just see it as a challenge. With Big Man's hidden ability to transform and hide, he probably would prefer an invasion of technically advanced robotic beings. What if they aren't programmed to seek him out in his new form? He would be safe forever. <laughs> Easy. This next Splatfest is like half of a callback. Imagine a Splatfest with more superpowers. We had one in Splatoon 2, but this one needs three options. How about super speed versus super sight versus being super small? <laughs> you might think to yourself, wait, wait, big man? Big man on super small? And I say yes. Big man is the biggest guy. What if, what if he just wants to be a little guy? to hang out with Shiver and Fry without having to try and squeeze through a door. Maybe be able to sit next to them on the bus. You know, ever think about that, huh? Imagine how powerful Shiver would be with super speed in your hero mode fight. Oh man, I, I, don't, I don't even wanna think about it. <laughs> Do you know how on top of the world Fry would be to be able to see anything coming? She's already spunky, we know that. She could see a prank from a mile away. She could see a salmonid when it's just beginning to spawn. Oh, oh, another simple holiday one. What about your favorite type of lights to see at the holidays? Do you prefer silver? The classic? Gold? Something with a little more sheen? Or maybe you just want to see everything lit up in goofy, silly, fun rainbow lights. Is this Splatfest an excuse to have all the glittery ink back from the Splatoon 2 Christmas Splatfests? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't even know what ink color they would use for rainbow. I, I guess just one that fits in with the silver and the gold. Maybe like a blue? Or maybe like a green? Oh, you want other update-related Splatfests? Should they ever consider adding a bunch of neat gear that specializes in adding extra accessories? Why not have a Splatfest to emphasize the importance of fashion amongst the Inklings and Octolings of the Splatlands? We could ask, what do you prefer to wear? A watch? A bracelet? Or a wristband? They're all fun and have different functionalities. Obviously, watches tell time, and they're a bit elegant. Bracelets are great. You could stack them and have a bunch of them on at once to have a lot of color. Wristbands are simple. And sometimes you can get the ones that have like words printed on them so you can celebrate something important. They could easily add some silly quirky dialogue if right at the end of all the talking, Big Man pulls out his brand new deep cut wristbands. Ooh, and then the teleprompter like cuts away. Ooh, another music related Splatfest. How about the way that you like to listen to music? Do you prefer to use headphones, earbuds, or just blast those tunes straight out of a speaker? 
with all of Fry's energetic movements, I, I don't think that she would do very good with headphones. I think we'll just let Shiver have the headphones on that. Please imagine the Splatoon universe also having way more options than we do usually for earbuds. And her having a whole bunch of different colored earbuds to match different Splatfest outfits. Cute. Also, speakers for Big Man already just make sense. He's already got a hat. Are you really gonna put two hats on him? No, you're not. Probably. There you go. There's a whole bunch of Splatfests that I think would be really awesome in Splatoon 3. I feel like they all would work. I don't feel like any of them would be horrendously lopsided. And I feel like Nintendo, you should just you should just steal these. Take them from me. Please. Please take the take the Splatfest ideas. I'm I'm, I'm giving to you them. Please just please please. <laughs>